Are you ready to laugh about terrorism? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Dictator. Admiral General, welcome to New York City. And while you're here, I highly recommend a visit to the Empire State Building before you or one of your cousins takes it down. Rise and shine. Nobody's gonna recognize you. No, 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 no. Without this. Oh! Is there any way you could lend me some money? Maybe $20 million. When you make a movie for $18 million and it goes on to gross $260 million worldwide, Hollywood loves you. But when your follow-up film makes only half that and the studio won't even report your budget, well, then suddenly Hollywood loses your number. Thankfully for Sasha Baron Cohen fans, directors like Tim Burton, Martin Scorsese, and Tom Hooper are giving the comedian small but flashy roles in their films. But The Dictator is most likely Sasha Baron Cohen's last chance to prove he's not a one-hit wonder. And to his credit, he's giving this movie everything he's got, appearing at the Academy Awards, Saturday Night Live, and in numerous YouTube videos, all in character and to the glee of many. But remember, internet buzz doesn't always translate into box office cash. And one might question a comedy trying to ride the coattails of the very serious and bloody revolutions currently taking place in the Middle East. Not to mention the ads for Mad Men Season 5 were criticized for bringing to mind September 11th, so will American audiences want to sit through a 90-minute reminder? But even beyond the political aspects of The Dictator, Sasha Baron Cohen has chosen Anna Faris and John C. Riley as his co-stars, two comedians who've proven to be box office poison as of late. Even Paramount Pictures is worried, pushing the film back a few days to a Wednesday release so as not to have to compete with Dark Shadows, a movie which had turned out not to be much competition after all. So, was Paramount right to blink, or should they have had more faith in The Dictator? And are audiences ready to laugh about terrorism? Let's go find out. Who is your favorite Sasha Baron Cohen character? Oh, uh, it's always gonna be Borat, yeah. I guess. So far, I have to say Borat still. Oh, Aladdin, well, who else? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you seen his other two movies, Borat and Bruno? I certainly have. Yeah, which is the best? This one. I saw it on, uh, the New York, in the New York Times. Yeah? yeah, yeah, did you agree with their review? Well, it was very intellectual review, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but I think that the other movie was better than this one. Oh, the first yeah. one, Borat? Yeah. 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 It's not as shocking. So it's as not it so much his to. fault, but we're just becoming desensitized to his right, shenanigans. Right, right, ah. right, right. So he has right, to rely right. on quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How Unfortunately, he has to rely on quality. How are the, yeah. How's the quality of the jokes in this film? It was good. I really did enjoy this one because of all the stereotypes that he cleverly highlighted. It's Baron Cohen, so it's a little rude, but it's not completely off the, the reservation in terms of being ugly. This well, one's very funny. Yeah. Well, so do you think he was just being like, um, uh, like offensive for like for offensive sakes, or do you think he had something to say, or like what did you? Think? Well, I think he had a lot of political stuff, which was good, especially um, the democracy in America. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh so so oh so it's like a double-edged sword, cuts both yes, ways, exactly. right? Terrorism in the Middle East is a touchy subject. Sure. Right? Do you think he did it well handling it with comedy? Do you think it was a, is well, it too soon? Well, that's true. That's true. You know, that Mel Brooks always said the, the way to make sure Nazis never come back is to constantly ridicule them. Ah. Ridicule is the strongest strongest message you can send. Oh, He's I, doing the same thing. I like that. Are all the funny jokes in the trailer? Most of them are, yes. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no, no, no. There's still stuff to see. Yeah, oh, it's that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. No, you know, it's a must-see. You have to see the rest of it. You know, I, it was not quite what I expected. It was better than expected. Oh, really? So. What would you give the movie on a 1 to 10? I got to give it an 8 out of 10. Oh, a 6 and a half. I'd give it a 7. An 8? I'd probably give it about an 8. So while audiences might not be in love with The Dictator, it does make them laugh and think, overall giving the film a 7.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM Empire 25, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.